Welcome or welcome back, new viewers and game bears. It is time for a bonus episode because I'm still practicing for uh, Soul Melter EX. So, in the meantime, we're gonna do Infernal Crisis with no ability. Just like in the previous Kirby games that I've played on this channel, those will be our bonus episodes. So, right here is where we will go for today. The next episode will be Soul Melter with no ability. And first up is Yugi Woods. Now let's do some more deforestation. Now in this first phase it's a little hard to get certain hits on, on him. For my little bit of practice. I try to get the cherries to hit him. And I already took damage. I was enough of all the fights here, this is the one I take the most damage on. At least from when I was practicing it. Those little puff balls will give stars. They will try to track you. And these things you can suck up and deal some good damage on them. I really wish those Gordos didn't bounce back on the wall. That would definitely make this a lot easier if they didn't. Ow. Alright, I got a good hit on there. Right, he's gonna try to suck me up, but I go all the way up in the trees. Can't touch me when I'm up here. Alright, thankfully the second phase is much easier. As soon as we can get to that, that is. Ow, come on. Ah, right, there we go, now we're in the second phase. I think we didn't, I could just dodge these if I went to the side. Alright, just go over here. Wait until he's done doing all of his jumping. Alright, stand over here. He won't be able to hit me. And you can just keep continuously hitting him. And down goes your deed. And I already took way more than half damage from that. Because some parts in this fight are a little tricky with no ability. At least without getting hit. And on to the mid-bosses, and because we're early on, I can eat one of these, it doesn't matter. The mid-bosses are significantly easier. Alright, and first up is Bonkers. Alright, he'll do his little spin and attack. Definitely not hard to avoid. Hammer flip, get two of them in there. He can sometimes jump out of the way of your attack, so do be careful with that. Yeah, like I just said there. And we always get the uh, those seeds. All right, down goes Bonkers, and I don't want to accidentally absorb the uh, the hammer hat. So, and if that happens, just like in Forgotten Land, as long as I don't use the ability and I discard it, it doesn't really matter. Just in case that happens. Alright, I just gotta keep kicking these guys till their shield breaks. This is, believe it or not, one of the most tedious things in the world to do. Alright, there we go, he's done. And you can use him for ammunition. So you can break the other one's shield. And for some reason, I'm taking literal fire and I'm taking no damage. Alright, let's use him for ammunition. Against... Twin Mr. Flossies. Two times the floss being sold. can't suck those up. Alright, when he throws these snowballs at you, you can actually suck those up. And hit him, hit both of them simultaneously. Alright, that snowman you can suck up as well, though it's a little annoying to do when, you know, these guys are running around. Down goes one. Alright, never mind, I stand corrected. Alright, just trying to avoid taking unnecessary damage. Alright, down goes Flosty. He went out of business again, man. Alright, next is King DDD.
And it's very similar to old King DDD fights from earlier Kirby, uh, earlier Kirby games, like Superstar. And you'll just do that little attack where he trips on himself. Just go behind him when he does that. I completely missed him. Alright, you can jump to try to hit you with that little way he's got there. And now here comes Swole DDD. Thanks for the ammunition, dude. Actually, you can suck that up too and hit him. Oh, okay, never mind. Should have just saved it. Okay, you can kick this little pillar over here. I think you can eat the food, but I think that damages you if you try to suck it up. So I'm not gonna take that chance. Alright, get some free shots in when you can. It does force you to spit that out. Alright, so it wouldn't have mattered in the previous phase. Oh no, never mind, no it doesn't. Hey, let me hook that up. Ow. That's just mean. One more hit, he's done. I don't think I've ever seen him use that, uh, like hang onto the bars and slam down his fist like that before. First time I'm seeing that. Alright, mid boss number two. Alright, Bugsy boy. Alright, let him hit the wall. He drops some stars, one more good hit, and he's done. Down you go. Alright, next. Is, uh, Chef Kawasaki, which is a little annoying to do with. Alright, he'll try to pull out his ladle. I'd love to know where he got that ladle, just... It extends very far. Ow. And that's why he's a little annoying to deal with. Alright, little again, he pretty much just does the same thing over and over again. See if we can get all three of them. I hit him like that. Suck up more of his utensils, and he'll be able to have uh, good ammunition against him. And down goes the chef. And now these water guys. Alright, you could just use air bullets against them, that's what I found out in practice. But you can just keep kicking them like this. Yeah, just pretty much keep doing this till they die. They're kind of tanky. Alright, one's gone, and the other one I could just slide kick. Down you go. Alright, now, Twin Vividria. These guys are a little easier than they look, honestly. Alright, when one of the Vividrias does that, you can suck up their painting and use it against them. Because one will always do this little painting attack, the other will spawn some uh, things to attack you. They never seem to do the same thing simultaneously, I'm getting at here. goes one Vividria, and down goes the other. And now I'm gonna have to heal, but that's okay. Because now we're getting to uh, another very easy boss. Oh, no, no, we're not. That's later on. Though Men Knight's actually pretty easy, so no big deal here.
Alright, Midnight Knight does that attack, he'll always leave behind a star. Go get it while you have the chance. You can sometimes block your attacks as well, so do be careful of that. Other than that, just like in Forgotten Land, it's a really cool duel. Yep, like that, he blocked my attack. Would have done quite a bit of damage to him if it hit. Now this attack can leave behind a star, use that to your advantage. Alright, in the second phase, where he clones himself. Alright, got a free hit in while I'm there. another hit on on him and right, he's gonna do his rock attack you really can't do anything to the rock since it doesn't leave any uh, bullets behind any star bullets I mean, you can try to slide kick it it's not gonna do any damage so you just gotta wait for him to uh, attack down though those rocks left behind is good ammunition to try to attack him all right just wait for him to come back down there you go and about two more hits and he's dead all right, and he does this attack. All right, just simply jump out of the way when he's about to move. All right, one more hit and he's done. Come on, give me a star, man. Right, you're not gonna be able to hit me from down there. Alright, now his tornado attack, which actually was really easy to dodge, because they'll just go into the background and try to hit you into the foreground. It's super easy to dodge. Like, see that? That was pathetic. That attack was so much more threatening in previous games. Essentially, has a bit of a screen clear. Alright, he clones himself again if you take too long. And down he goes. Oh, wait, I forgot. No, no, wait, kids, don't see. You can't see his face. Alright, uh, next is the most pathetic boss in the game, Goldon and Silvox. Gotta be a special type of pathetic if the tree is better than you. Alright, go up here. Take that raccoon over there, and I missed out on doing some damage. All right, now we're in the second phase. You can slide kick these little pillars, but now you can't actually. Never mind. They leave behind a bunch of stars, so use this opportunity to get some shots in. Alright, and Silvox is dead just like that. There's a lot to do there. First time I'm seeing that. Ah, oh, damn it. I'm sitting in a bad spot. I wait for him to. Oh, never mind. Get over here, dang it. Dang it. Trying to get a good shot in. Okay, go up here. Ah, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> Wanted to go downward. I 
I did it again. Alright, that's okay. Goodbye. Alright, now we can get into Krako. Alright, get one of these, because we took too much damage. Alright, this fight is very similar to his previous fights, like his Superstar and Superstar Ultra. Drop down a Waddle do. He'll do this attack super easy to dodge, just stay very far away. He'll slide down when he does that. Get some stars in. He'll drop a chili, which is something he didn't do in previous games. Alright, this little thunder attack, very easy to dodge. And he does it again. Alright, down goes the first phase. Rain attack, which doesn't leave behind stars until the end of the attack. Now just go wherever the clouds are. And very simple and easy to dodge. Like right here, look at me. I right, remember here when they do those little thunder cloud attacks. Go to the middle of the screen. I'm gonna do this, and stay out of the way for this one, because that will do a lot of damage. No totally tall crafted, you literally have to stand still to get hit with that. I stand in the middle so they can't touch you with those. Oh, never mind, I stand corrected. But I don't take any damage from guarding with those, so it's no big deal. I do take damage from that, though. One thing about Krako is, if you look closely at his eyes, he always watches you. It's in most Kirby games, but that's a fact, actually. But down he goes. Alright, Francisca is next. little attack. You can try to, you can play a little risky and try to get cool low stare when she does that. But if you do, it is a nice uh, little high risk high reward thing. Alright, now we're in the second phase. Alright, she's gonna use her water gun attack. It missed, so yeah, not very effective. Drops water bound stars, just like how some of our ice attacks will drop ice bound ones. Where if you suck them up, it'll give you the water ability. But that's not what we're doing here. And now this attack, she's in the air, so it's just best to stay in the air with this one. Kind of hard to hit her from that range without her going up to dodge the attack. Right, one more good attack. Bye bye. Next is Flimberg. Just like your sister, just watch out for any slashing attacks and any projectile attacks. But she'll start off with this fire slashing, and I missed. This 
attack super easy to dodge, just stay at the edges of the screen. You'll be able to hit her from there. Alright, the fire goes away, things will be safe. Alright, second phase. Alright, fire cannon, all you have to do is stay up. Since we don't have any fire ice attacks, we can't just uh, defuse that. And she'll try to pull trick and go to the other side of the screen right before she launches it. But once this attack is done, it leaves behind a load of stars. Alright, this attack right here, just stay on the edge. You'll dodge it very easily this way. And if you're good with your targeting, you can hit her from here. Get a few free shots in while she stands still. Alright, she'll do this attack. Very easy to dodge. Just slide tick when she tries to hit down. Or you can always just walk around. You can easily do that if you wanted. And down goes Flamebird. I almost took a little fire damage there, but thankfully I didn't. Alright, Zan Partizane is next. Right, here comes T, you know what, Thunder T herself. If you know what the T word stands for, I've stated it before. Alright, and already in the second phase. Quicker than both of her sisters combined. Alright, and just like on normal mode, one of the attacks where she kind of just stands there. Doing her ultimate attack. Alright, once the electricity goes away, you can get some of the stars that she uh, left behind. Alright, now this attack is next. Alright, at least we're nine stars, so we can keep going behind her to do some damage. I see the orange stars there. I'm not entirely sure what ability that gives you if you're just those up. And down goes Zen Partisan. Alright, and here comes one of my least favorite fights in the game, Hyenas. Alright, because we're near the end of this, might as well go to full HP. After this fight, only two more fights, so... No big deal. Alright, I'll start by using Shadow Ball against you. You can suck these up. And they leave behind stars anyway, so whether you suck them up already or not, you'll still get some ammo. Alright, stand right over here when he uses Eruption. And he'll use this lightning attack. Just go to the sides, because it covers up quite a bit of the screen. And the size attack, very easy to dodge. Just go over here. Alright, he'll use this real big Shadow Ball. And it leaves behind stars when it misses you. And second phase. He calls upon the mages in their, uh, distorted forms. And you can actually soak up the crystals that they drop, so take advantage of that when they show up. Something I didn't know about until I, uh, practiced for this off-screen. Alright, I'll try to use them as literal swords. And they leave behind stars as well. And I missed him. Alright, 
right, second phase. Well, technically third phase. All right, now the annoying friend circle, my favorite. Still looks stupid. Nobody's ever gonna change my mind on that. Right, fly over him. He'll stop right there. You can try to land some shots, though. It's a little risky. All right, now he'll try to go into the ceiling. He doesn't fall down that way. He'll go back here. And he'll go into the ceiling again. All right, now he'll jump to the middle of the screen and launch them off. All right, this is a good time to get some shots in. All right, now if you use them as a shield, you can still break this even if you use uh, if you just use uh, stars, which actually gets multiple hits on him if you suck up all the shadow balls. All right, this one we cannot suck up, sadly, but we can suck up stars at least behind. All right, I took a little damage, that's okay. All right, now I can get him some free shots on him since he's stuck. All right, one more good hit and he's done for. All right. That's all right. Bye bye, Highness. Now, my least favorite fight out of the way. Why don't we go to an actual good fight now? Morphonite is next. Let's get one of that, so we're at full HP. Alright, there he is. Totally not Galactonite over here. Alright, he's very similar to Mennonite in a lot of ways, so if you're good at that fight, you won't have much trouble with this fight either. Which is a little sad, though, because he's just- he's so cool, yet he's so easy in this game. Whether you have partners or not. Alright, he leaves behind a star. And just like Midnight, he can sometimes block your attacks. So you it's best to try to time your attacks as best as possible. Alright, just go up here when he does that. Because that is an undodgeable combo attack if he hits you with it. Alright, there's the block that I was talking about before. Because most of his attacks are ground-based, so if you just float over, you can definitely dodge this. Huh, never seen him do that before outside of the second phase. Go, that leaves behind some stars. Ah, I missed. Alright, got two of them. Alright, now here comes the second phase where he brings out the big swords. Alright, simply just go under him when he does that. You can even get in some good shots. After a word. And go under him when he does the double sword attack. Look at that damage. Alright, he'll do the sound wave attack. Thankfully, we don't have friends here, so we don't have to worry about uh, uh, healing people with the power of friendship. Oh no, that took some damage. That's fine. Ah, miss me. Alright, he'll summon them ghostly uh, spirits. And just simply go under it when it's in the air. That's all you gotta do. Like so. And down goes Morphonite. One more boss to go. And it's a slog. If you all seen the main playthrough and the original Soul Meltzer, not Soul Meltzer, uh, Infernal Crisis without, or with abilities and friends. Yeah, look at that, their heart's coming out of him. We killed him with friendship. 
All right, the final battle against Void Termina. And we don't even need to take that last protein drink or whatever that is. All right, uh, we've already seen this cutscene. No need to see it again. All right, so we just out of the way when he hits the ground. I mean, technically, this doesn't count as me using an ability. But, well, it's a friend ability, so I don't know. It's kind of scripted, so I think there's, I think it's for the game. All right, down goes one health bar. Simply jump over those when he does a little jumping attack. Me personally, I think this charge might be a little too long. I don't know. It's like delay before it fully charges off to me. Even now, this game being out for almost six years. Alright, and down goes three health bars. The fourth one is on his back. And he summons the power of the swords. And he uses ice today. Alright, very easy to dodge that. Alright, there we go. Now I can get some hits in. Alright, one more health bar to go, and it will be on his head. Try to keep your ah. Try to keep your distance when he does that. I go under the X. Very easy to dodge most of those. Ignore the fact that I just took a hit. Ice can be a bit of a bitch to dodge, actually. Alright, one more good hit. That should end it. No, one more. There we go. God damn it, die already. And now he's dead. Alright, and inside the board we go. Just get that, we've already seen this. Alright, and these little Japanese symbols, you can... I think they're Japanese symbols, I don't know. You can suck those up very easily. So getting some shots against some of the blood up there. We'll leave behind some stars, I think. Was that the blood? Yeah, it was the blood. Okay. Ow. Right, down goes the second phase. Alright, now he grows wings. And like I stated in the uh, main story, they're very similar to Zero Two's wings, so the secret final boss from Kirby 64, the Crystal Shards. Coming right, under this, you can get some good button mashing in, and that's pretty much a free health bar gone. Probably my favorite part of that phase, too. Such a power rush when you do that. A lot of people try to get in some charge shots. Me, I'm just gonna run and mash to hell. Maybe he shoots a fire arrow as well as an ice arrow. Which I think is supposed to be a small reference to the arrow ability from Triple Deluxe and Planet Robobot, which isn't in this game and hasn't been in any later movie games, sadly. It's one of the best powers ever, really. Along with Hammer, Poison, Doctor, also from Triple Deluxe, and not Triple Deluxe from Planet Robobot. Right, this arrow attack is very easy to dodge. You can literally be blind and still dodge this attack. Alright, there I didn't get the slow but that's fine. Alright, three health bars down, two more to go. Alright, this one's on his back. He brings out the axe, man. I suppose we don't have an axe curvy ability. Eh, maybe a future game will have that. Just gotta wait and see. I feel like it would just be a combination of hammer and sword, though. Yeah, maybe that's why they haven't done it yet. It would just be too redundant with those two abilities. And more reasons why I prefer to button mash, because even after the slow mo is done, you can still get in some extra speed mashing. Alright, the final one is on his head. 
and he'll astral protect a copy of the Master Crown, showing that old Void definitely is related to the Master Crown in some way. Or Void Tower. And definitely giving you more theories that Dark Matter and Zero have possessed previous uh, Kirby villains. It's a nice little fan theory if you didn't know about it already. Alright, jump out of the way of that. Alright. And now we're on to the final phase. Alright, so one question about this fight. This is the only fight in the entirety of the uh, no ability mode where you can use the friend hearts. Because, again, they can damage Void Termina. But that counts as me using an ability, since I'm not using, you know, the Star Bullets. Ah, eh, maybe it will, so I won't use them here. Alright, just get out of the way of those little sound waves. We don't have friends here, so we don't have to, you know, get people out of being mind-controlled. Technically, is that us mind-controlling them? Alright, you can't suck those up. So just dodge out of the way of them. Really not hard to judge, just do a short hop and you're good. Okay, you'll pop out spikes, which is very similar to an attack that Miracle Matter has in Kirby 64. The penalty's my final boss in that game, that isn't 0-2. Alright, the shockwaves can hit you, so be careful of that. I got hit with blood. Alright, and now his Dark Matter form. Show more that Kirby and Dark Matter are related to each other. Alright, get out of the way when he's about to use his laser attack. Get some bullets in. Alright, gonna have to jump out of the way with this one. Alright, we'll do a circle attack, which is very similar to Galactonite's attack from Superstar Ultra. That does something like this. Alright, he's almost dead as well, so... Alright, he does the sound wave attack again. He'll spawn up these old dark hole things. You don't want to get sucked up by these guys. You definitely don't want to. Ah, frick. Just as I'm saying that. Ah, god. Alright, we're fine. We're fine. Minor mishap. Alright, Miracle Matter spikes again. Yeah, that's another little reference, too, because there's a lot of Kirby Final Bosses that have a black hole as their attack, like Magalore or Marks. And uh, Star Dream OS from uh, Planet Robobot also had something like that, too. And down goes Void Termina. As well as even later Kirby games like Fecto Ephelos having a Dark Void attack. It's just references in many Kirby Final Bosses. Some, call some chalk it up to laziness, but it's, like, it's good world building. But anyways, we have one against Infernal Crisis with no ability. In fact, I even got the third highest record on here in this file. Alright, so that's done. In the next episode, we will do no ability on Soul Melter EX. Or just Soul Melter, not Soul Melter EX. Soul Melter EX I'm still practicing for, so with, with abilities. But anyways, I think that'll be the end of this episode, and we'll do Soul Melter with no ability in the next episode, unless I'm done practicing the Soul Melter EX with abilities. Anyways, if y'all enjoyed this and you want to see more, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and follow. Hit with the Vincy Screen Screw and Alf on YouTube, and that bell button for more. This video is sponsored by the wonderful peeps at W. Just hit the link in the description below. Use the code provided to get a wonderful 10% discount on your wonderful new drink order. I recommend that Dragon Egg flavor. Also, what did you like and dislike about this video? We can use that feedback for future videos to make them better. Thank you everybody for watching. Let's do a quick raid real fast for those of you on Twitch. And that'll be the end of today's episode. And let's raid Jet again. He's playing Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Go send him your support. Alright, thank you everybody for watching and have a terrific day.